Pharmacy Secretary and Treasurer Mohit Dargani was emotional during the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee hearing on Friday. He explained that he and his sister Twinkle did not plan to escape when they were arrested in a chartered plane in Davao City. Mohit said that they were supposed to accompany their mother, who has a mental health problem. The Pharmacy Executive said that they were touring around Luzon and even reached other provinces before going to Davao. When we went to Davao, it was with no plans that we wanted to fly out. It was just that our mother's health and my sister's health was deteriorating. Seeing them waking up, seeing them cry, it, just, it was just painful to me. However, Mohit refused to name the person who financed their chartered flight worth 2 million pesos. He said that he just asked a favor from his friend. Who was this friend uh, to whom you sent yung mga research mo about the $35,000 to $55,000 price tag just on the flight for a chartered flight, uh, this male friend abroad. Madam Senator, as much as I would want to answer your question, I have, I don't have my lawyers with me, my legal counsel with me. I may say something that may um, self-incriminate myself. But after consulting their lawyers, Mohit said that the person behind their flight was a businessman from Singapore named Gary Wong. He denied having a deep relationship with Wong, something that the senators did not believe. How do you know Mr. Wong? Paano mo siya nakilala? Um, I met him in a, um, like a restaurant or like a bar in Singapore. Ano ang... Uh, entrepreneurial or personal relationships niyo na you could actually ask him to lend you that much? Uh, it was actually the first time and I was uh, in a situation wherein I was not thinking of the cost at that time. I just told him to, um, this is the range that I saw and please do it because I just wanted to do it for my mom and my sister. You do not know him that well. You have met him only once or once or twice. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. You know, <laughs> Mr. Mohit Dargani, do you think that the senators you face are stupid? Huh? You're saying that you met him once. You had no business dealings with him. He, he lent you $37,000. That's incredible. Did you have an affair with this guy? I'm not, I'm not serious. Why, why would he lend you one million, uh, uh, the equivalent of two and a half million pesos at, the, uh, at most? I guess he knows um, my background. Dargani was also grilled for not bringing the documents of Farmily related to the medical supplies purchased by the government. Senator Franklin Drelon said that they also subpoenaed two Farmily suppliers. Among these is Evermore Marketing Corporation, who has a fake address. Drelon suggests bringing the Farmily documents to the Senate from Dargani. I cannot understand why you cannot produce this document, which is so critical to our uh, to our uh, work i'm willing to look and locate for the files that i've kept aside because no one expected i did not expect yeah. that when i keep things in a, a box and I, I address it to mr ong um everything like our office will be closed we will we'll be forced to um relocate i don't have staffs right now Senator Richard Gordon also revealed that Farmily Director Lincoln Hong smuggled a cell phone inside his detention room in the Senate. I think he ordered a pizza or a sandwich, and inside was a inside the sandwich. I think I'm just I'm just joking. He was about to eat the cell phone. I like to apologize to the to the Senate to the OSAA that uh, I didn't mean to uh, to to challenge the authority of the of the Senate. Uh, it, it was really out of uh, survival instinct because I really miss my family. Ong was permitted to call his family during reasonable hours and apologize from smuggling the phone. Chastise my lawyer and tell him you're representing me and you're out of line.